Oh yes, this is a breaking news on the Buzz UG. Yes, President Museveni and his son Mohozi Kanerugaba are going to be sanctioned by the United States of America. Yes, this is the latest news on the Buzz UG and trust me, this is breaking. President Museveni and his son Mohozi Kanerugaba are going to be sanctioned by the United States of America. If you're a member of opposition in Uganda, you must be happy about this news. But before the details, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the chairperson of the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, that is Robert Mendes, has petitioned President Joe Biden asking him to withdraw an invite to President Museveni ahead of the 2022 U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit over alleged violation of human rights in Uganda. Now, Mendes also wants President Museveni's son, Lieutenant General Mohozi Kainerugaba, who is also commander of the land forces in the UPDF, to be sanctioned by the US for participating in torturing novelist Kakwenza Rukirabashaija. Mendes urges that uh, President Museveni has twice changed the constitution to remain in power. Uh, he also says that President Museveni has embedded democratic processes. He also says that President Museveni has turned blind to rampant corruption. Uh, President Museveni has also subjected political leaders to illegal detention, violence, and torture with impunity, among very many other things in the country. Uh, Mendes also says that the recent sanctions against General Kale Kaihura and Major General Abel Kandiho came a little bit too late and could not necessarily impact anything. Now, this is what Mendes wants United States of America to do. First of all, he wants President Museveni and his son to be sanctioned by the United States of America. And secondly, he wants the United States of America to sanction all Ugandan officials implicated in the violation of human rights. And thirdly, he wants the United States of America to eliminate UPDF army officers from any form of training with the US Army. And lastly, he wants the United States of America to sanction the individuals running detention facilities where Ugandans are kept illegally. But he also said that Uganda is now going through troubling times and he therefore requests Joe Biden administration to re-evaluate the relationship they have with the Ugandan government headed by President Museveni. I'm telling you, Bobby Wine and his entire opposition must be jubilating about this news. And right now, we are just waiting for Joe Biden's government to respond to this urgent request by the chairperson of the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs, that is Mendes Roberts. And of course, right here on the Buzz UG, I'll keep you posted. I told you that you got the buzz, you got everything. So what you have to do, make sure that all the time you're locked onto the Buzz UG. Thank you.